A warm welcome to all our TVET lecturers. I'm Amanda Skinner from Macmillan, and today I will explain the recent updates in the N6 Computerized Financial Systems, or CFS, curriculum. I will also show you how our DHET approved TVET First Students Book and Lecturer's Guide will help you to easily implement the revised curriculum. The updated CFS N6 curriculum is being implemented in January 2023. You will need the latest textbooks to teach the correct content and prepare students for exams. The logo, Revised Curriculum 2023, tells you that this is the correct book. Let's start with the major changes between the old CFS N6 curriculum and the new one. Three modules from the old syllabus have been moved to N5 and are no longer in N6. They are Module 1, Financial Statements on an Accounting Package, Module 2, Analysis and Interpretation of Financial Statements, and Module 6, Dealing with Budgets by Accounting Package. In addition, the old Module 3, which covered Advanced Document Project on an Accounting Package, has also been removed from the N6 curriculum. So what's new? We have a new Module 1 called Salaries and Wages System Payroll Package, this module used to be in the previous N5 syllabus, but is now in N6. Also, Module 2, which is called Labor Costing on a Spreadsheet, was previously part of the CMA Applications module, but is now a standalone separate module. Very importantly, the new curriculum uses the terminology from the International Financial Reporting Standards, abbreviated to IFRS or IFRS. Some examples of the new IFRS terminology are Statement of Comprehensive Income Statement of Financial Position Trade Receivables and Trade Payables Remember also that the module weightings have been changed in the new curriculum, so do go through the new weightings carefully before you plan your teaching. The structure of the 2023 curriculum helps you in three important ways. 1. The old Module 3 covered outcomes that could not be examined and had a weighting of 25%. This has been replaced by outcomes that are examined and are more relevant for the course. 2. Both the computerized labor package and labor costing on a spreadsheet are retained in the revised curriculum. Labor costing on a spreadsheet has been removed from the computerized financial systems N5 syllabus. 3. The syllabus is more in line with the N6 Cost and Management Accounting Syllabus. It now includes cost control in the module on Cost and Management Accounting Applications. And there are more budgets on a spreadsheet in the syllabus. That concludes the main changes and improvements to the CFS N6 curriculum. I am now going to tell you about six unique features of the TVET First CFS N6. What's important about these features is that they help students achieve their best marks. Feature 1. Simple, step-by-step -step explanations in worked examples with clear screenshots help students to follow the correct steps when working in Excel or the payroll program. Feature 2. The many varied assessment activities are designed to help students master the content and be prepared for exams. The activities help both lecturers and students track student progress. Feature 3. Exam tips, important points and remember boxes throughout the TVET First Students Book provide guidelines and suggestions for tackling exam questions. These also alert students to common mistakes students make in exams and how to avoid them, which empowers students to approach their exams with confidence. Feature 4. Each module ends with a summary in flow diagram form. Students can revise all the module summaries to check their understanding and prepare for exams. Feature 5. Each module has summative activities which include exam type questions and these help students to check their progress as they prepare for exams. And Feature 6. The book is quality checked throughout, ensuring that the instructional guidelines are 100% correct. No good series is complete without an excellent lecturer's guide, 
and the TVET First Lecturer's Guide provides plenty of support for implementing the new curriculum. This support includes a photocopyable practice exam with a marking memorandum. The practice exam gives students the opportunity to complete a mock exam based on the new content in the syllabus. The memorandum ensures lecturers have the answers they need. The lecturer's guide includes an overview of the learning outcomes and where they are covered in the student's book. There are comprehensive answers to all activities, showing correct entries and printouts for the payroll package and for spreadsheets. This will save lecturers valuable marking time. There is a lesson plan template which will save lecturers valuable preparation time. Remember, choose the best support available for this curriculum implementation. Choose TVET first.